Hello everyone, welcome to my online edu.com's video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to use and apply GTT orders at Jirodha's Kite platform. So, first, of what is a GTT? GTT stands for Good Till Triggered in Jirodha. So, what does it mean is, so you will place a order and the order will be good until it is triggered. Okay, so we'll come to that demonstration. But before uh, the demonstration, let's uh, see few features of the GTT. So, for an example, uh, so GTT is only applicable for your CNC orders. So it cannot be applicable for your intraday orders. Okay, so it has to be a delivery order. That is a cash and carry order type in Jirodha. So now the CNC order will have basically either you can have a buy gtt or you can have a sell gtt okay so and a sell gtt can have again two kind of order one is a stop loss order and one is a trade profit order so today we'll you know work with a uh, bank of borrow the chart so for an example if you see the chart over here okay so today we'll work with the bank of borrow the chart okay so if you see the chart if you look at the chart you see there is a good support at 38 correct so at the price 38 there is a good support we can see but the current price is at let's say 49 so you don't want to buy over here in this 49 range okay you want the price to come near the 38 and then buy it okay so one way is that so every day you can come to your place uh, in the kite and then you know you can uh, give a trigger of cnc order type of limit okay at rupees let's say you want to buy at let's say and 40 so this is what the buying price i'm targeting right i'm i want to buy in 40 because the uh, support is there at 38 and then i want to make a stop loss of 36 and then trade for profit of 50. So one way of doing is you can place uh, this, you know, order, uh, you know, limit order, you know, and then there's a buy. Okay. So, but if, if you place a buy over here, so what will happen, you know, this will is valid for the single day. So next day again, you have to place this order. Uh, so GTT is something which is actually you can use. Uh, it for it's valid for one year in Jirodha. Okay, so once you place a GTT order, so it will be valid till you know one year until that triggered price is triggered. So here the triggered price is price is rupees forty to buy a bank of Baroda stock. So let's see how you can place a GTT order. So once you take your curse mouse cursor on that particular stock name so click on the mode button here and then you can click gtt okay and then i can put a buy over here then i can put a trigger price right so currently i am going to buy in a 40 and quantity is one and price is again 40 i want to buy in price 40 so what will happen when the bank of borrow the price will fall down to level 40 okay so at that time the trigger will be generated so it can be uh, in next day it can be on the same day it can be on the next day it can be on the uh, after a week after a month or after a six month so this trigger will be valid for one year so i can click now place so now you see the gtt got created so where you can see the GTT details is go to your orders tab and there you will have two tabs orders and GTT go to, to you go to your GTT tab okay here you can see that bank of Baroda is a single buy of quantity one current LTP is 49 but I am expecting it to come down to 40 maybe within any you know uh, the time frame is within an year so this GTT is will be triggered whenever the price comes to comes down to 40 but remember this is only applicable for your delivery orders it is not applicable for your intraday orders 
So, so once this GTT will be triggered, so now let us let us say that you know uh, let us take an example of this. So, what I will do is I will modify the GTT ok because 49 you know today I cannot demonstrate. So, what is the current price is 49.35 right. So, I will modify the GTT to 49.30 price ok again 49.30. So, let us modify it 9.20, 49.20. So, let us wait for some time until this trigger is you know generated. Okay, so I had to place this order at 49.30, and you can see that 49.30 that trigger is already triggered, okay, in the GTT tab of your orders. So now if you go to your orders, you know, you will see that one bank of Baroda stock is product type CNC as executed at 49.30. Okay, now you saw that the trigger was generated, now it is executed, the trigger is executed. Okay, so trigger and then execution, there are two steps, fine. So now I, if I go over here, I can see in my position, I have one bank of Baroda order which average price is 49.40 which is fine ok. So, this is just for demonstration uh, but you know uh, for you the GTT may trigger after 7 days, after 15 days, after 1 month uh, you know or maybe the next day or maybe the same day also ok. So, now you ha I have the GTT in my position. So, next what I want to do is now I have to sell it right I have to set a target fine. So, my stop loss will be uh, in case if, if it was bought in a 40 level, my stop loss would have been 36 and trade profit would have been 50, correct? Let us say, you know, but right now since I have bought in 49, so I will set a, you know, stop loss at let us say 49.40 is my buying price. So, 49 will be my stop loss and maybe, you know, 49 uh, point, uh, 60 or 70 will be my uh, target price ok. But remember for a, for a, a delivery basis uh, this will be the actual scenario for you. But to demonstrate you you know I cannot you know uh, do I cannot actually uh, uh, wait that long to be the price to come to that particular figure. So, once you have this you know you come over here in, in your position and also or all also you can you know in the next day it will appear into the holding tab or over here in the bank of Baroda whatever, whatever you want again you want to create a GTT or from your holding or your position tab you can come here and you can create a GTT. So, now it will be our sale right now two things now trigger type it is a single order or it is a OCO means one cancels other. So, in OCO in single order ok either you can give either you can give the stop loss order or the trade profit order ok. But in OCO one cancels other you can you can you know give both the values ok the stop loss as well as your trade profit. And then one cancels other means whichever is been triggered will cancel the other order. So, if the stop loss is triggered then it will cancel this order and if the trade profit is triggered then it will cancel the stop loss order. So, one cancels the other. So, that is the meaning of OCO over here. So, normally I will prefer OCO if you want to place the stop loss as well as your uh, you know target profit uh, in a in the same window. So, now you know uh, for an example now trigger price will be uh, if this is my stop loss you remember this is my stop loss uh, place. So, uh, let me say 49.30 and then price is 49.30 and then trigger price will be uh, 49.50, 49.50. But in your case actually if you look in this scenario it will be 36 as my stop loss and 50 as my trade profit because I will be working in a delivery basis and you know uh, it is up to you but you know in this scenario I will prefer in that way. So, but this is just for a demonstration that how you can 
uh, use this GTT order. Now I can, you see the current price is 49.40, right? So let me place the order. Okay, so I have to, you know, uh, give a minimum distance, some distance. So trigger price is this. I think this should be okay. Let's see. Yes, now the GTT is created. So how you can see the GTT again? Again, go to order stack, go to GTT. Now you see the triggered one is our buy one. Now this is the OCO sell. Okay. So you see here the two ticket price. One is this is for the stop loss and this is for the target profit. Okay. And let's see which one got executed first. Okay. One more thing I wanted to tell you, you know, before this, uh, let this get ex executed. So, you know, here also you can see the percentage of your LTP, right? The latest traded uh, price. So, you know, uh, you can also put a percentage if you are not sure about the price. So, if you want to put 1% stop loss and 2% trade profit, also you can put, you know, 1 over here and 2 over here. So, the price will be adjusted accordingly. But let's not, you know, uh, do that. Let's uh, wait for this one. But you got the idea that how to use this one, correct? But remember this thing, I mean, I mean uh, even, even, even today's trade, this trigger does not trigger, you know, it will again be applicable for tomorrow's trade. So you don't have to place the trade again and again until uh, a one year, this particular trigger will be valid. So that is why it's called, you know, good till triggered. This particular GTT order is good until it is triggered. So now we can see that this order is triggered, okay. So now let's go to the order page. Let's see which one got executed. Okay, our trade profit got executed 49.50. Yay, I got a 10 paisa profit. Very good. Fine. So you can see here, you know, I now my position got exited. So, so you know, using this feature, this is very good feature that you can use to, you know, uh, to, 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 to uh, set the trigger based on your desired price level when you want to buy and also you can put a stop loss and when you, you want to put a trade profit okay so uh, that's it from my side you know if you like this video uh, please click on the like button uh, share with your friends you know uh, and please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much for watching this video see you soon bye